Uh, welcome to Tune Up Tuesdays. And we're, we're at week number seven. Uh, we only have one more Tuesday left. It's been a, a great experience. And of course, it's been a miserable most Tuesday night. So we've enjoyed coming back into the house and doing our exercise. And this is our first night of doing it with the time change. So it's great that we now have, um, it's lighter, longer, uh, but certainly looking forward to some warmer temperatures. And I think to get us heated up and warmed up tonight, I'll turn it over to you, Carol. Okay. Let's get going. Hi, everybody. I've got my green on and I've got my green under my green on. And I've got my Irish button on for those that are Irish. So in lieu of tomorrow being St. Patrick's Day, an early happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody. Wishing you well. We say top of the morning, but I'll say top of the night to you. I uh, just wanted to brighten things up, liven things up a little bit. Uh, also, I'll just give you a little bit heads up. In case you see me not do a particular exercise, don't panic. I'm not really cheating, but I actually fell. Last, now, this is why you look after injuries. I fell when I was out with a dog last spring. I did like a Superman nose dive and my foot turned in and whatever. And I jammed my heel in and my Achilles tendon. And I've been kind of nursing that injury since the spring, since June. And here we are, March, nine months later. And I was walking in the uneven snow and ice with my dog. And every time you hit that unevenness and your ankles turn and whatever, uh, I've inflamed that Achilles and it's not very happy with me right now. So there are certain things that I'm not going to be doing jumping things, but I will tell you to do them and you can go ahead and do them or you can do modifications like I might be doing. But it just goes to show that sometimes when we get an injury, no matter how much shape we are in, how often we do train, that little things can come back to bite us and we do have to pay attention to them. So this is my paying attention to it and giving you guys a heads up that be careful with your injuries and make sure that we do look after them. Okay, so on that note, we are going to start um, a lot of this workout that we're going to do today is similar to what we did in week three and I wanted to revisit it because it was a hard week in week three and now we're in week seven and I want you to see how much you have progressed and how much easier these exercises are now than they were the first time we did them. So it's not that I was being lazy, this is totally intentional that we are having a revisit. Okay, and having said that, I'm gonna give you a little bit of music and it should be nice and lively for us. We get started, maybe. Okay, we're going to start with a light jaw. Okay, just a light jaw. 30 seconds. Then we're going to go into the mummy for our warm. Putting on some 50s music, take us back, get us in the mood. Yeah, we can do her Richard Simmons, Jane Fond imitations. And the mummy now, touch your heel in front, bring your arms out. The music is upbeat, so I want you to be upbeat. From the mummy, we're going into squats. We want to warm up to the things that are going to come after. Squat. Come back. And these are at a fairly good pace. You don't have to drop your butt to the floor. Just nice steady movement up and down. Nice continuous movement. And from the squats, we're going to do the inchworm. 
where you walk out on the floor, arch, then come back. You twirl, walk forward, back, up, walk forward, and up, and one more, forward, and up. Now this time we're going to go forward, stay down here, bring one leg out, stretch your arm up, down, back. Another leg out, stretch your arm up, down. First leg out, up, down, the other leg out, up, and down. Walk your hands in, feet in, up, and we're going to start jogging again. Sick. Enjoy having some fun. And into mommy. Dance around with the mummy if you want. And squats. That's it. Warm up those muscles. Put a nice big smile on your face. That will actually exercise some of the muscles in your face. Up, down to the inchworm. And back. Standing up. Down. Back. Down, back. This time down and stay. Bring your right foot out. Arm up. Switch legs. Up. Switch legs. Up. That's it. Switch legs. Up. Switch legs, up, switch legs, up, and walk your hands back. And finish with a half minute, 30 seconds of jog again. Moving forward and back. And on the spot, bring the foot up. That's it, really warming things up. And squat. And then slow it down. I'm just going to finish a couple slower squats. And up. 
Breathe in. Just walk it out. Shoulder circles. And relax. Okay, this time we're going to look at lower body. So we're going to be looking at squats, which are old friends, and we're never going to get rid of them. Sorry. Uh, we're going to do right side lunges. So we're going to do lunge patterns of forward, back, forward, back. Okay. Uh, we're going to do squats with a side step. Side step wide in narrow. Side step wide, narrow. All right. Uh, left side lunges. So we're going to do some of our lunges too with pulses. One, two, three before you're up. One, two, three before you're up. Okay. Uh, we're going to do our skaters lunge. So as a reminder, step out and then over to the other side so the foot goes behind the other one you get as low as you can if you get right to the floor touch with your hand that's great okay uh, so those are all the moves that we need to know okay we're going to do this set twice first time we're going to go through 45 seconds on each move, then we'll rest for 30 seconds, and then we're going to go through it again, 30 seconds on each move. All right, let's start. We're going to start with our squats. Ready? And let's go. That's it. Nice, good squats. Hips go back, butt goes back, knees bent. You pick your squat zone. It can be narrow, it can be comfortable, or it can be wide. You pick the zone in this one. Okay, that's it. Keep good squats going. Okay, lunge to the right, right leg only. Now this time stay here, pulse. Three, four, five, six, seven, come back. And forward again. Forward. Forward and pulse for seven. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And back and forward, back, forward, back. Now we're switching squats. So you're going to go squat close together. Now why? Close together. Why? Close. Wide. Close. Wide. Close. Wide. Close. Wide. Close. Wide. The movement throws you off balance, so it makes different muscles jump in. Left leg. Lunch, back, lunch, back, lunch and hold for seven pulses. Three, four, five, six, seven, and back. Lunch out again, back, lunch out, back, lunch out, hold for seven. Try to go straight up and down. Push with your heel. Push with that front heel. And up. 
Uh, now we're going to do our skater's lunge. Go to the side, the other side. That's it. One side, then the other. Good. And as you get more comfortable, make more distance on that jump. Lift your bend. That's the way. That's the way. Keep it moving. And good deep bend. And now squat and hold. So you're just gonna hold. And this won't be pleasant. 45 seconds. Try not to put your hands here or here. We want to hold with our legs. Hold ourselves up. Think good thoughts. Sing. Hum. Go along with the music. Just hold, hold. Almost there. Five seconds. Hold, see if you can drop a little lower. And up. Shake them out. 30 second rest. Okay, ready? And go. Squat. This time, pulse, then up. Down, pulse, 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 up. Up, down, pulse, up, one more down, pulse, up. Okay, right side lunge. This time we're going to go backwards. Down, go back, and up. Back, and up. A little change, change in direction is good. Throws you off balance. Okay, and back to the squat. We're going to go wide with a pulse, narrow with a pulse. 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 Wide with a pulse, narrow. With a pulse. Left leg back. Up. Back. Up. Back. Up. Let's speed it up a bit. Left side. Remember, work that big muscle. Push with the heel. Push with your heel on the right side to help get you up. Okay, it's going to lift you up. Push. Push. Okay, skaters lunge, Make some big jumps. Well, I have blue shoes, but they're not suede. But they are comfy. And one more. And we're going to go down to a squat and hold. Hold. Like you're sitting on a stool. This would be good for you riders. 
You can actually get your squat position and then lean forward a bit to put yourself more in that saddle position. And up, relax. Okay, this time we're moving on to our chest and back. So the chest and back, doing push-ups and plank type of series, okay? So our push-ups will have different hand positions. Our planks will be doing different things with our planks. So I'm just gonna change the focus here. And grab a drink of water. And come on down. Okay, this is going to be 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. We're going to go through a series, take a short break, and then go through the series again. So let's try to do them as good as we can because it's only 20 seconds. All right. So let's start with a push-up. From your hands or from your knees, from your feet, one or the other. You can have a mat under you or just your living room floor, rug, or whatever surface you're using. You could be out the barn for all I know. I don't know. Okay, now down here almost for a plank. Again, from your feet or from your knees, but keep your butt in line. Whichever way you're going. Okay, this time you're doing a push up. You're going down, up, touch your shoulders. So you want your feet a little wider. Down, up, touch your shoulder. 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 And you notice that when I touch the shoulder, my bum's not coming up. I'm trying to keep my body level. Okay, this time a plank and hold with one leg raised. You choose which leg. Okay, this time we're going to do a push up with wide hands. So, lengthen your hands out, and you're going to go down, back up. So, you feel this work a little bit differently. Down and up. Wide hands. Wider than your back. You don't have to be fast. Okay, and this time, plank with the other leg raised. Again, can be from your elbow, if you want, or from your hand. You choose. Okay, down, lying on your front, legs up behind, and flutter kick. Just rest your chin on your hands. And flutter kick. For your back, back from your butt. Make sure your knees are off the ground. And relax. Yes, you get a rest. Okay, 
Okay, let's start with our push ups again. Round and up. And relax, I'm building rest into this one. If you want each exercise to be good, okay, your plank, keep your body as straight as you can from your heels to your shoulders. Can be from your hands or down here from your elbows. You choose. Either one, still gonna get results. And relax. This time, push ups with the shoulder touch. Ready? And go. Down, up, touch your shoulder. Down, up, touch your shoulder. Down, up, touch your shoulder. And try to keep your body flat when you're touching the shoulder. Try not to pipe like this. Keep your body flat and relax. Now we're going to do a plank with one leg raised. Okay, and go. One leg raised. And relax. Push up with wide hands. I want you to go right to the floor and then up. Okay, so we're going all the way down. Lift your hands down, wide hands. Push up. All the way down. Lift your hands and push up. All the way down. Lift your hands. Push up. Real meaning of the word push up. Down and push up and relax. This time we do a plank with the other leg raised. And again, you can do it from your hands or your elbows. You try to get your shoulders over your wrists. And down. Now lying on your stomach again. Legs up, flutter kick. Make sure your knees are off the floor. And relax. Okay, this series is our abdominal series. So we're going to work the front side of our body. So we're going to start. Switch my mat around. So we're going to start with a full sit up. So that means all by ourselves, nobody holding our feet, no feet under a chair or a door. We're gonna start all the way back, come all the way up, as close to your toes as you can get. You can wave at them, you can touch them, and then go back down again. Your arms can help bring you up. Okay, that's a full setup. Uh, the next one we're gonna do is a runner setup. So a runner sit up. It's like you're running. And then the next one. So it's like you're running. 
So it's not a bicycle crunch, but it's a runner sit up. So your hands are more at your side and you're bringing your knee up straight up. Okay, the next one is the single leg raise with opposite hand touch. So you're going to bring one leg up, touch it with the opposite hand. Okay, and hike, uh, bring the bottom part up and down, up, lift your bum. So each time you come up, you lift your bum and you get to 90 degrees and your legs are feet are facing straight up. Okay, we're going to do two sets. We'll have a 30 second rest. The first set is 45 seconds with each exercise. The second set is 30 seconds of each exercise. So this is our big challenge for the front part of our body. Okay. All right, ready? And let's start full setup. And back. And if you want to make them harder, do them with your hands over your head without throwing your hands or keeping your hands up and really using your abs to lift you up. That's it. Five more seconds. We go out one or two. Okay, runner sit up next. So it's right into the runner sit up. You should start to feel these. So you're not throwing with your hands, you're lifting up, lifting up, using those abs, lift up. And we're going to switch in single leg raise, opposite hand cut, so up and down. Raise your shoulders off the floor. That's it. Try various combinations. See what's making you work. And moving into the pipe. You can put your hands under your butt, lift the legs up and down. Straight up, lift your bum and down. Up, lift your bum and down. Okay. This is working in your lower abs. Lift that butt up a bit. Almost done. And relax. Back to the top, but this time we only go 30 seconds. So it's going to be a piece of cake now. Much easier. Okay, ready? And full setup.
and switching into the runner sit up. And switching hand again, opposite hand, opposite leg. Bring that hand up as close to your toes as you can. Get your shoulders off the floor. That shoulder off the floor. Okay, you're doing well. And the pipe. Last one. You bring those legs up and lift those butts. And down, relax, bring your knees into your chest, and just rock side to side. Slide one leg out, keep the other leg in. Pull the knee up towards your, your chest. Then bring that leg straight and grab as far down as you can, but not behind your knee. Leave it down by your ankle, up by your thigh. You can grab your toes. You can grab both if you want, but just not behind your knee. And bring it down, the other leg in. Bring the leg up. Sitting up, okay, cross one foot over, lift the opposite arm up, rotate, and bring it down across your body. Look behind you. And back, switch leg. Whatever your version looks like, the knees may be way under and in, or you may be back, you may have your legs separated. Whatever is comfortable for you, to get a nice little stretch and relax. Let your arms stretch out in front. Press your shoulders down. Up, lifting up onto your toes <clears throat> into a downward dog. 
Press your heels into the floor. Hold. Walk your hands in. Put your feet in. And then just stay down. Just let everything hang. And slowly raise, stopping halfway, and then raise all the way up, shoulders back, bring your arms up, overhead. Swing them around behind, bring them down behind you, pull down. One foot out in front, take the opposite hand, reach down, grab your toe, and up, the other foot out in front, reach down, grab your toe, and up, shoulder circle, shake your arms, Shake the body one way and the other. And we are done. So that is week seven. It's a repeat almost of week three. And I hope you saw some changes from one to the other. Yes, Carol, thanks so much. An ex another excellent evening. And, and uh, hopefully our viewers that have been participating are, are finding our weeks um, are getting easier and uh, our body is adjusting and we're not as sore the next day. And, and definitely all the lunges and the squats certainly do help um, riders sitting in the saddle and, and being able to do our work. So um, for all of those who have joined us this evening, um, thanks for coming in out of the cold and uh, participating again. And we're looking forward to um, our finale next week. I'm not sure if we have anything exciting in, in store, but Carol and I will think about something. And I uh, hope you all have a good week. And uh, Carol, looking forward to seeing you next Tuesday. Yeah, have a good week, everybody. Hopefully we have some nice weather. I saw a little bit of snow flurries coming for a couple of days. I'm not sure if that means anything good or bad, but... Stay safe. Okay. Good night, everyone.